Hey guys, it's Game Blaster 64 back again with the uh, from the top let's play. Uh, it's just turning to night right now. I saw a creeper out the window just over there. I'm not sure if you guys can see him. Uh, I'm gonna craft a couple more torches so that the interior of my hovel isn't exactly the most darkest and scariest thing in the world. So to do that, I'm gonna create. Oh, oh no, I don't have enough wood. Ugh. Okay, um, I can show you guys something else too that I noticed in the meantime. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see it from your perspective while I'm playing the game, but um, the interface is really large. And uh, I've noticed that if you play it with the uh, Windows taskbar um, uh, set to auto hide, the game's interface gets much larger and the game actually runs faster. So this may help you guys that have uh, a little bit slower PCs. So I'm going to show you here. If you look at it, it looks normal, right? I'm going to switch, just minimize this, and then uh, switch it to, oops, that's not what I wanted. Jeez. There we go. Turn off auto hide. All right, so this is the standard form for Windows here. I go back into it, and the interface is a lot smaller. Um, I mean, this this PC is pretty beefy, so I'm not too worried about it. It's my girlfriend's PC, but on my single core machine, uh, this really helps the frame rate. So if you guys are really suffering uh, from jittery gameplay, then uh, definitely you should check that out. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to be adventurous, and I'm just going to switch that back, and then I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go get some wood even in the middle of the night. That's fine. I'm going to. I'm just going to do it. Okay. Let's do this. God, it's so hard to see at night. Oh, there's someone right there. Perfect. I'm just going to go until I get attacked. That way I get as much as possible. I can't really even see. I'm going to scratch that and just go back in. <laughs> Have to kick the cow. Okay, uh, where are we here? Perfect. Yes. I'm really excited about this change uh, that lets you use charcoal. Huge fan. I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube uh, recently about how to do redstone, um, like redstone tutorials, neat things that people have come up with. Like, I mean, it's pretty simple. If you know your logic gates, you'll be fine with redstone. Um, and if you don't, it's easy to brush up. You can figure out what you're doing. But um, I'm looking at doing some of the more advanced things. Like I've got uh, on my multiplayer server, uh, on the creative one, I've got um, Mist Island which I'm actually developing in my spare time too and I'm really excited about maybe putting a video up of that relatively shortly once I get some more of it developed uh, but I've got oh, there we go um, I've got some redstone stuff in there already and uh, you can flick the switches near the the, uh, the clock tower and the doors open and uh, the redstone is hidden which is really cool so you know because redstone if you see the the actual trail of redstone dust it's not quite as cool <laughs> as if uh, you know you can't so that was a big thing for me is trying to hide that and uh, doing double doors that are metal like the metallic iron doors um, it's so hard to do because they've got to come up like from the sides at least that's the only way I could figure out to do if you guys know a better way definitely let me know but um, yeah like because if you put two redstone dust drops right beside each other they um, they connect and I, I don't know how to separate them or make them not connect, even if you if you can. I, I don't think so. So, I mean, that would be really handy. Uh, and one thing I had to do, too, for the Mist Island switches there, I had to um, separate the two switches. If, if you have them side by side, then obviously, like I said, the, the redstone dust connects. Um, so in the meantime, uh, in the middle of the night, I'm going to just chop up some of this cobblestone and see if I can maybe find a cave or just adventure a little bit because in the middle of the night there's not a whole heck of a lot to do when you have you know so little availability of inventory oh there's some iron there 
I don't know, if you pickaxe an iron block with a wooden pickaxe, does it still drop the, the iron? I'm guessing probably not, but we'll try it anyways. No, it doesn't. That's unfortunate. I'm getting some extreme lag at the moment. Okay. So, let's see if I... Yeah. Might as well make a cobblestone thing then. Replace this garbage wooden one. Yoink. I'm so used to playing my creative server, I just jump down not worrying about the health because it comes back. Because I have the mobs turned off in the creative one. And it's like, oh yeah, I can't do that here. So I have to go and kill a pig tomorrow. Uh, one thing I did want to mention about the redstone tutorials, I've been saving um, every single one that I find that's good to a playlist. And I've shared that playlist on my website, like on my blog spot. And uh, you guys can go and check it out. Right now it's, at, it's sitting at about 25 videos. Um, that pretty much takes you from being a complete noob at Redstone to most of the advanced stuff. Uh, I'm always on the lookout for expanding that. It's actually one of my more popular posts. Um, if you guys have a good video or you've created one, um, you found one that's neat and it really helped you, definitely let me know and I'll throw it in the playlist. Because I'm always looking to expand that. I'm going to throw a torch down because you just can't see anything. There we go. What time is it? Let's see if it's close to day yet. Not even close, eh? Oh, I don't have a chest either. Ugh. Man, I hate just starting out. <laughs> You're always like, oh, I'll just put all my stuff in a chest and go adventuring. Oh, I can't because I don't have a chest. So if I lose everything, I lose everything. Can I make a chest? No, I can't. Should I risk it? Yeah, let's do it. I'm pretty close to spawn anyway, so if I die, I can always just run and grab my stuff. Where was that tree? Bring this thing over here. Here. Perfect. My goal is to make a chest. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I should have enough. Yeah, definitely. I may actually even be able to make two. Yeah, I can. Perfect. I like how these things stack too. Makes it easy if your inventory is getting close to being full. Um. Oh. I think a zombie hit me from the side. I just dropped Walt. Yeah, there he is. Jackass. Yeah, I'll hit you with my arrow. <laughs> Don't laugh at my lack of bow. It'll do the trick. I find um, timing the clicks better than uh, if you... Uh, than if you just hold it, because if you hold it, sometimes the timing gets off, and then the guy can hit you through the window. I actually put a piece of wood to block up that door, too. It's really dark. I should adjust my gamma. Okay, perfect. Now I am ready to rock. I think my next video, I'm going to go adventuring and find some more resources. Take care, everybody.